My entire adult life, I've wanted to be a teacher. I've always said that teaching is a calling, not a passion, because it's difficult to say why we do what we do. If you don't have a background in education or you don't make good grades in college, it's difficult to become a teacher. Essentially, you have to pass a test called the GACE, the Georgia Assessment for Certification of Educators. It's 130 questions and it's two essays. The first time I took it, I almost walked out. The second time I took it, I did only a little bit better. At that point, I decided to purchase and read advanced placement for high school students, uh, the book that they have to study to step up in high school. I purchased one for English language and one for English literature. I purchased a book for children on 20 of Shakespeare's plays. I purchased a dictionary of literary terms. I purchased a book on the history of literature and also a book called Grammar Smart, which I'm pretty sure is for elementary students. <laughs> I wrote countless practice essays and have made so many flashcards that I'm embarrassed to even guess at a number. I failed the third time I took it and the fourth time I took it as well. At this point, it wasn't even about becoming a teacher. It was about passing this test. I imagined on my tombstone, he passed the gaze. So nine years ago, I was at a bar on Howell Mill Road and I met a gentleman who just so happened to be an English major. And so naturally I told him about my difficulty specifically in that I couldn't pass, I couldn't get through this essay portion of the exam. And he told me, write it as if you were in the eighth grade. And without studying an hour more for this test, I passed it on the very next try. So what is the mistake and what is the lesson? The mistake is perhaps getting involved in education in the first place. <laughs> but the lesson is that so often our most difficult problems and questions have the simplest answers. And so when I relate this to a shaky relationship with two sisters, last year we sat down and without being controversial, we were simply honest with each other and it changed everything. And I think about at work when I'm overwhelmed, how I may have two dozen things to do that were due five minutes ago, but the answer to that problem is taking a step back and doing one thing at a time. Every now and then a student says something to me along the lines of, you don't get it, this is easy for you. And I think back to reading that Grammar Smart book at the age of 32. Thank you.